All right. New series hype is right, Dave. Welcome in. We are going to be playing some Nullius, and we're going to be streaming Factorio, which is actually a first. I've kind of had my streaming world and my Factorio world separate so far, and I'm excited to combine them. Yes, Nullius did get updated uh, yesterday to 1.16, and I'm excited to play it now. It, it seems like there have been some reasonably major changes, especially 1.1. Compared to when Nullius came out, so I'm glad I've waited a couple months to start it because I think it's in a more polished state now. It looks like it's still under fairly serious development. I'm sure there'll be a 1.2 release eventually, um, maybe even a 1.3. Who knows? But it it looks like it's in a really good state to play. It looks like there's been quite a few balancing passes as other people have played it. So hopefully we won't run into anything that feels too imbalanced or too crazy. Um, for those of you joining on YouTube, welcome as well. Let me know if the Twitch streaming format doesn't work for you. I'm going to try to stream in such a way that it makes everyone happy. Um, I think that will work because I don't have a million Twitch viewers, and so it's not like I'm interacting with Twitch chat exclusively. But there are some people who, as you're watching a YouTube video, you don't like that there are people talking to me and I'm talking to people as I'm doing the video. So let me know in the comments what works for you and what doesn't. Um, I'm kind of just seeing where my, my viewer base is at and uh, where I'm at, because obviously this is a hobby for me. I'm doing this for fun. So if I just enjoy streaming way more, on the factorial end, I might just keep doing that. Um, but let me know what you guys think, because I care about what the viewers care about as well. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to start with a little bit of an intro. Dave, I'll get to uh, your questions here in a second. Uh, first of all, I'll run through my mod list for everyone watching. Um, ignore all the mods that aren't installed. And I need to turn off my preview here. So I'm just going to scroll through this pretty quick so you can see what I've got. Uh, I'll also paste the mod list in the uh, YouTube description along with the map seed that I'm using in case you're interested in that. But I've got basically quite a few quality of life mods that don't do a ton and then a couple that do a little bit more and then I've got Nullius and that's it. So to-do list, just quality of life, additional pace settings, quality of life, advanced fluid handling. This one will actually change the gameplay. You guys, if you are watching my Angel Bob's Omni playthrough, have seen what this does. It's amazing. It allows you to have pipes that connect this direction, but go underground in a different direction or go underground in two directions. So it just makes your fluid systems so much easier to handle and use way less pipes, which both saves a little bit of UPS, but mainly it increases flow rate because the less pipes you have, the more flow rate you get total. Um, you know, if you stay under like 10 pipes, I think you can get up to like 950 flow rate or something. Uh, alien biomes is a requirement. These are not actually in the game, they're just in the game for the art. Um, so Nolius uses a lot of the art stuff from Angels. Uh, I am using Bob's Adjustable Inserters, which does, I would argue, make the game a little bit easier, but it's just, I've gotten so used to playing with it and designing things with it, I find it more fun. Uh, Bob's Functions Library just needs to be there. And then Bob's Logistics, same story, uh, the art stuff is used in Nullius, but it's not actually Bob's Logistics is enabled. It's just a requirement. Uh, bottleneck is just quality of life. Bright Lamp, I actually think that's going to be useless because I loaded up Nullius and it looks like that already has a couple tiers of lamps in the game. So I don't think this actually is going to do anything, but I wanted light to be less of an issue. Um, Copy-paste modules is another quality of life doesn't really do anything other than that even distribution you guys have seen that more quality of life factorial libraries fill for me there's no biters and that's the only place where i feel like fill for me is actually going to make the game actually easier so this is really just quality of life fnei hell mod uh rail layer i brought in just in case i want it uh inserted throughput quality of life Invisible worker robots. We'll see if this works. Uh, I assume this will improve, once I start using robots, it will improve the YouTube compression. And so that will help with the videos not getting garbled as much when I have bots flying around everywhere. Because YouTube compression tends to not like confetti 
lots of small moving objects on the screen that, that destroys compression. And so worker robots are actually a big opponent to quality. So we'll hopefully have those invisible. It's not going to be that big of a downside to me, at least. Um, LTN, classic if we need it. Max rate calculator, module inserter, nanobots. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use these because you start Nullius with some bots, so I probably won't use them. Nullius, obviously included. Uh, some picker mods. I do have picker dollies, which I haven't had before. And that allows you to move buildings like one square. Quality of life research. I always play with that. It just allows you to upgrade yourself a little bit. Recipe book has been updated to three now, so that... Hopefully will work a little bit more smoothly than before. And I'm going to try using recipe book instead of FNEI for the most part. Robot recall for when we need to upgrade robots, run speed toggle, vehicle snap, warehousing, add some warehouses. That's a small mod. And then I have water well, but I don't know how much I'm going to be able to use it because I don't unlock that for a while. So that's all my mods. And we're going to start a new game. I already do have a map import string here so richness i'm at 200 percent size i'm at 133 and frequency at 75 percent except for geothermal which is at 100 percent and i guess there's no oil because oil is a breakdown of products that don't exist on this planet yet uh turn off cliffs i'm not a fan of cliffs enemies don't exist in nullius and research queue availability is on i'll show you the preview do I set um, water, this is the big one, to 25%, 17%. And what that creates is basically small lakes. That way I'll have water accessible in more places um, until we can get water fill or water pumps or whatever it is. And then you can see there's quite a bit of geothermal up here in the right. And there's only four types of ore. And we can see all four of them are fairly present. It looks like there's not another patch of, is that sandstone? I don't know if that's sandstone or limestone, but I don't see another patch of that on the screen. But other than that, there's other patches of iron, there's other patches of this bauxite, and other patches of the pinkish stuff. So we should be good on resources. And that's it. We're going to jump in. All right, Dave, to answer your question, how much do I know about Nolius? Uh, so Nolius is a mod that is described as, well, here you go. You're a von Neumann android. After hundreds of years of relativistic travel, your probe has arrived at its target planet, and you've been activated with a small payload of essential equipment. This lifeless planet is poor in heavy elements and lacks a breathable atmosphere. Despite these minor deficits, it's overall classified as a superb candidate for terraforming. Your mandate is to develop the industrial capacity necessary to terraform this planet, seed it with life, and build a wave of su successors to continue on to new planets. So it's kind of like the prequel to what you see when you land on a planet as the Factorio engineer. Um, obviously, the gameplay is still very Factorio in nature, but it's a very cool concept of what you're doing. And there's no biters, no trees, so just alien biomes, ground, and water. And that's it. Um, <clears throat> so... To start out with, it looks like there's some various broken things. I know very little about the actual gameplay. I haven't jumped into this at all before, so you're going to experience it fresh with me. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Um, I don't really know what to do first, actually. Also, my hotkey seems to have broken. I thought tab was my FNEI hotkey, but that's not doing anything. Um, I should also look at the controls or uh, picker, the, oh, what is it called? Is it nudge or move? Picker dollies, move entity, shift up, down, left, right. Okay, so that allows you, let's see if this works. Yep, see that? It allows you to move buildings by one tile. So I'm actually very excited for that, uh, to try out that mod. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to start with, Grabbing all this stuff. I guess I should take everything out first. I don't know how this works. It's mineable, but it's also a chest. It's kind of weird. So we'll grab that. Landing site pod. 
Grab all that stuff. But yeah, I've been uh, around on the Discord a little bit for Nolius, and it looks like um, it's kind of in the petrochem direction with liquids. There's a lot of liquids and a lot of dealing with byproducts and stuff like that. So I'm excited for a new challenge with all those types of things. It does seem like it's not in the Pyanodon's level of complexity. I also, I think I'm supposed to be mining all of these. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake by getting rid of them. I know in uh, K2, Crestorio 2, some of those are actually assemblers. But yeah, okay, we got all sorts of buildings now. So power pole one, we're going to put that on four. Belts are going to be shift one. Chests. Uh, let's just do small chests on five. Lamps on shift six. Assemblers go on six. Uh, we'll put electric connection there. It's all sorts of stuff that I've never seen before. Seawater intake, I'll probably put that up over here. Auxiliary valves, small furnace, miners, grid batteries. Inserter. Wait, inserters are on shift one. Yes, they have renamed all the items. So we're going to see a lot of things that look familiar to us, um, but they're going to be different in terms of the angels' buildings. So... Gosh, I don't even know what to do. Uh, I guess first step... Oh no, tab is supposed to be recipe book. That's what it is. Um, so mod uh, controls. Also, in terms of mod settings... I should walk you guys through. I haven't done much except in alien biomes. I disabled the inland shallows because I don't like little patches of water randomly. And I did tile speed reduction down to zero. Everything else is fairly default, but I'll just scroll through it real quick in case you want to see it. Um, on map, I think I have some bottleneck settings specific to me. Everything else is pretty standard. LTN stuff, nanobot stuff, quality of life stuff. I increase the recall speed on robot recall. Additional pace settings, I have five times recipe amount, but that's not until we get to logistics. And again, just scrolling through, showing you settings in case you care. That way I have a record of them as well, if I need to look back. Uh, but yeah, Dave, you're right. They did, they named it like belt one and inserter one. So everything seems custom. But I was going to go into controls, look for recipe book, and open selected object in recipe book is supposed to be tab. And yeah, okay, good. That's the only thing that has that set. So what I probably need first is the ability to create belts or science I have no idea what we're doing here let's look at science so the first one costs nothing and it takes ore to make a mineral sample but I do need a laboratory to actually research that and I need power so I guess the first question is how do I get power so looking in here, we've got grid batteries and solar panels. So that looks like the basic start. So let's get these plopped down. Ooh, and it looks like these are nice power poles that reach three squares instead of just two. So we'll get these set up. Okay, so there's our solar. And then we need our accumulators. Let's see, and that should give us room for more. Nope, that's all we have anyway. Okay. So there we go, and then we also have the, the long holes in case I need them. 
and I'll get a lamp set up here and there. All right, there we go. So we are officially researching Geology 1, because it's free. That's nice. So that unlocks the ability to make mineral samples. It looks like there's three tiers of small assembler and three tiers of medium assembler in the game. I like the science packs. They look cool. Like this is kind of a science pack with like a rocky, like little rocks in it. And this one has like clouds, climatology. Climate sample requires air and seawater. Oh, well, that's cool. But I need three science packs for that. And I need three science packs for this. So iron ingots will be made from iron ore. So I do need to start mining. I assume these miners do what I think they do. And they are electric. Oh, I did this all backwards. These need to go that way. <laughs> now you regret starting Angel Bobs. Does this look really cool? Uh, okay, so let's get some miners going here. I'm probably going to get afraid of the dark, so I don't need lights everywhere. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're mining sandstone. So sandstone is kind of the brownish one. And then we're going to need to come over here. And get bauxite. Get some light. Oh, we're out of power. Oh, I don't have enough miners for this. So what I should probably do is take two of these miners. Actually, I'm going to need the most iron. So we'll just have one miner on this. We'll put that in a chest. And then I'll have one miner on bauxite. And then I'll have the other three on iron. So we'll put this guy up here. I should also take a look at the map. I haven't really done anything with that. Okay, so we'll set that up. Here's the map. We've got a million bauxite, close to a million sandstone, a little under a million iron, but there's another 2.3 million iron patch here and 7 million iron there. We've got limestone down here, and then that's it for our starting area. <clears throat> All right, now let's go get iron collecting. I'll have to get power all the way down here. Looks like we've got just enough of a reach. And we'll have that come up here. Inserters are a nice even one per second by default, which is cool. But two per second, obviously, when you turn them sideways. These chests are very small. Now, do these these broken objects, what do they even do? I can't place them. I wonder if I can recycle them later, potentially. So we'll grab some ores. And then we'll see if we can make some of those. <laughs> Literally the only thing in my entire crafting menu. It's mineral sample one. I like that you can't craft anything at the very start. That's kind of fun. All right, so we can handcraft, but they're very slow. 15 second crafting time. Uh, then we have a medium assembler. Also, what's my power grid look like? 500 kilowatts is all I get. So the assembler takes 150, which is most of that. Do I have enough extra power? Uh, it looks like these are taking 300, so I, I should be able to run this. All right, so we'll start you, and I'll also handcraft a few myself. All right, we've begun with science. And let me grab more iron. What's the mining rate on these guys? Uh, per second, we got one fourth. 
Iron looks like it takes a little bit longer to mine. So these naturally mine 0.3 a second. Sandstone looks like it mines at the default rate, so that's 0.3 a second. Also, I wonder what sandstone stacks to. Oh, they're only 50. Oh, that's sad. I missed ores stacking to 200, or in Pinodons, 500. Um, okay, so, and this guy mines a little faster. So, bauxite only takes 80% of the time, so that's 0.375 per second. Alright, I'm actually going to put a large chest over here and put all my broken stuff in there. Because it's just in the way for now. Oh, I even have a logistics storage. Do I have any sort of other bot things? I mean, I have eight construction bots, but... I don't think they do anything right now. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some science packs. Let's throw those in the lab. I'll put here. Oh, what? Look at this. We already have a little robo port. We've got a solar panel, a charger for robots, and a hanger for robots. Cool. So you actually start with little bots ready to go. All right, so I'll just research these first two. They each take three, so I have seven packs. That should be enough. And we'll just have this thing keep going to make as many packs as it can. I actually don't have spare chests, so I'm not going to use that. Alright, so we got climatology researched. So now I can make, in a hydro plant, I can make air and seawater. Or I need air and seawater. Okay, intermediates is the plastic looking one. So I don't know how to get air and seawater, but that can make me climate samples. And then I can make iron ore, fine, or iron ingots in a small furnace or a medium furnace. We already have one small furnace, two. So let's start making some iron ingots. So that's down here. I have no splitters. Oh, I do have splitters. So I'll do half get smelted, half get stored. And then we'll put that into the same chest, because I don't have a lot of chests. So we've got a rate of five iron ore, turns into two iron ingots. And then we also get gravel. And we need a lamp down here to show that we don't live in darkness. Okay. Alright, so now I kind of want to check out... Let's give you a few more. Uh, looks like a hydro plant. Oh good, they're a little bit smaller than the angels was. Uh, so I need air and seawater. I'm guessing seawater comes from the seawater intake. And I'm guessing... Yeah, we're out of power. Classic. Uh, I'm guessing that the air filter filters and compresses air from the atmosphere. Okay, so we need a seawater intake right here that doesn't seem to use any uh, electricity, but then the air filter does. So then we can do a hydro plant. We'll move this over, make things a little more convenient here. And we do need power connected. I don't have any more of the big power poles. I guess I could use some of my undergrounds so I can move this a little closer. Let's do that. Okay, so yeah, we'll move this over here. So it's kind of in the more central location. And then we've got our height. We are really short on power. 
it's worth noting. Uh, let's put the air filter down here. I'm probably going to need a lot of these. There we go. Okay, so that needs 120 air per second, actually. But the problem is I just don't have enough power. So how do I get more power? Let's take a look at that. Solar. Okay, that's how we get iron plates, iron rods. I should probably start researching this one. Um, hydro plant repair. Oh, okay, you can repair things. This allows us to filter seawater. Get some iron pipes, iron working, mining tools. Allows me to make chests. Wow, there's a mining productivity real early. Uh, faster handcrafting. Okay, so I might delete quality of life upgrades because it looks like we already have some stuff in the game. This allows me to repair solar panels. How many broken solar panels do I have? 15, okay. So that's kind of a way that that gets you started on more power. Solar power one seems like you don't get it for a long time. Um, so is there some sort of boiler power? Do, do, do. Uh, okay, you can get a motor. I'm assuming that's probably the beginning of power. Oh, wind power. There you go. Okay, so we're going to have to work our way towards mechanical energy before I can get more power. So I guess the first thing we want to do then is get to where we can repair the solar panels, which is which one? This one, masonry. So I want water filtration and then masonry. Because power is definitely at a premium until then. Chemical plants do nothing right now. Oh, Informatron. You're right. I'm supposed to have Informatron. Um, let me... Nolius A. Let me grab that real quick. My game restarts pretty fast. Um, it's a lot better than Pyanodons. And I'm also going to remove a couple things. Uh, I don't need... What was it? I don't need Bright Lamp. And I don't need, uh, what's it called? Quality of life research. And I do want Informatron. There we go. Okay. So let that restart real quick. Thanks for the reminder, Dave. And I forgot about Informatron. I, I remember seeing that that's a, a thing this mod does. This is really cool so far. I like the the completely bare bones start. Really in every mod pack, I feel like my favorite part of it is like the first five hours usually. And just the really bare bones start. I mean, that's what I love about C block. Like the first 10 hours of C block is great. After the after 10 hours of C block, it's really just Bob's Angels at that point. Um, but the first 10 hours of C block is so fun. Okay, yeah, we removed Bright Lamp, we removed a bunch of QOL researches, and everything else is good. Okay, good. Informatron's here. So, Nolius, this mod uses different resources, doesn't work well with other mods, unless they've been made to work together. Okay, we already have looked at that. Fluids. Okay, we'll get to fluids in a little bit. <clears throat> there are certain areas where Nolius diverges from vanilla fluid. There is a pressure rating... So, pipes actually can be higher pressure, so I think they're faster at higher levels, but they hold less per pipe. Um, energy storage, here, let's look at this. There's no coal, wood, or oil, and no oxygen in the atmosphere to burn it anyway. So we need renewable energy sources. Wind power is the lowest tech option, yep. 
Later in mechanical engineering, you get solar thermal, which is more expensive, but heat can be saved up to use at night or when winds are low. Um, wind requires a lot of land and is unpredictable. Solar panels can be expensive and produce nothing at night. Geothermal produces consistent power, but can only be placed on fumaroles. Nuclear produces consistent power, but consumes some resources to do so. Wind turbines have to be spaced out exactly 32 tiles from one another, so they take up a lot of space. Use, using grid-aligned blueprints or the F5 grid view may help, help you plan that out. Um, pylons space out exactly 32, so... Don't be afraid to place a large wind farm, there's no biters. Energy storage... Uh, chemical engineering lets you do batteries. Until then... You can build your own accumulator system using an electrolysis or compressed gas. Yada yada yada. I mean, I guess these grid batteries are not going to be enough for a while. They only hold 10 megajoules, which... I'm trying to remember how long a nighttime is. It's something like the equivalent of... Gosh. Well, one... Uh, I can't remember now. But 10 megajoules is probably only going to supply, like, 100 kilowatts throughout the night or something. So not very much. Uh, steam temperatures, merely cosmetic. Higher temperature reactions yield a greater volume of steam relative to their input, and it's the number of units that matter. Each unit of steam has a certain amount of energy that's not based on its temperature. Okay, cool. So, research, seven research packs. The first two are unlocked very early. The next five are more ex advanced and exponentially more expensive. Thus, the tech, tech tree can be divided into six distinct tiers. Nolius replaces all vanilla stuff. Nearly everything you can do in the base game, you can do in Nolius, with the exception of a few military or energy technologies. Nolius attempts to streamline away some unnecessary intermediates and instead uses finished products as intermediates. Uh, cliff explosives. Well, we don't care about that. There's no separate personal battery equipment. Regular batteries are equipment, intermediates, and rechargeable vehicle fuel. That's cool. Um, radars have as much smaller radius, but a larger radius for remotely viewing your factory from the map view. Instead, Nolius provides a different method for scanning distant sectors under the exploration technology. Alright, so we are in the early game. Tier 1, Geology and Climatology. You'll start out with access to just enough of the buildings you'll need to progress. Geology and Climate are simple and cheap to produce. Technologies in this tier have very low cost, meant to be researched quickly. They serve as introduction of processes for manufacturing. Mechanical Engineering is where we're going. We still only need a small number of research packs. These technologies enable you to build your own copies of most of the structures you start the game with enabling you to expand your base indefinitely. By the end of this tier, you'll have the ability to eliminate all of your waste byproducts, thus enabling sustainable automation. Sweet. Most technologies of this tier and earlier are unaffected by the technology cost multiplier setting. Okay, cool. So, wow, this is taking forever. Um, so let's keep researching everything. I'm just going to queue them all up and do I have things that are using power that don't need to be using power? I mean honestly I might, hmm, I meant to get Afraid of the Dark. I'm going to do that real quick. Streaming is just not as good without Afraid of the Dark. Uh, mods. Afraid of the dark, go. Um, but also, I mean, I'll still use lamps, but it's just hard to see. I might undo some of the miners, actually. I don't need as much ore as I have. I'm going to take away two of the extra iron ones to give me some power back. And then I should probably just be handcrafting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be handcrafting the ones that use ores, and then I'll let the the other hydro plant craft the climatology packs because I can't handcraft those because they have liquid inputs. And while the factorial engineer can carry 
millions of tons worth of objects. He cannot carry liquids, no matter how hard he tries. Alright, so let me take that or... Ah, much better. See, now we get this nice little area where we can see more easily. Um, and then I'll take away two of these miners. That should help. And then we'll grab some more bauxite. Bam! Okay, so I'll slowly craft some more mineral samples. Iron plates and rods are made in foundries. So I assume they gave me one of those. Yep. So a foundry can turn ingots into plates, ingots into rods, and then plates into sheets. So a plate is slightly more than one ingot, a rod is slightly less than one ingot, and a sheet is also slightly less than one ingot, but in a six-fifths ratio instead of a five-fourths ratio. So those ratios are a little, a little nasty. Uh, I'm going to give half to plates. Maybe I should be more careful. Okay, so it looks like I just finished the seawater filtration recipe. So now I can filter seawater into saline and wastewater. I'm going to delete that when I'm handcrafting those now. Okay, we just got masonry, which allows for, okay, fixing some things, it looks like. Oh, and sand. I can make sand from sandstone. And look at what I get, sand and stone. <laughs> and then I can also crush stone to gravel, which makes sense. All right, now I just unlocked wire from rods. Rods come from ingots, wire comes from rods, and gears require a rod and two plates. Good to know. Okay. I do need a little bit of sand to fix solar panels. Iron rods to fix... Okay, so I want to fix all the things now. So let's take these back. And I will fix all the solar panels that I... Can. So I can handcraft what I need to fix solar panels. And then pylons need iron rods, iron gears, and pipes. How do I get pipes? I don't think I can make pipes yet. Okay, we need some more mineral samples. Plumbing needs some climate samples. Looks like it needs three, though. Let's get a couple more air pumps working. That'll be a little bit better. Um, oh no, squeak through? Did I forget to install squeak through? I can't walk through these. No, I can walk through these. Does that just mean the Nullius pipes don't accept squeak through? That would be weird. Um, I know squeak through does do some weird things, so some mod users don't, or mod makers don't like it. Uh, okay, let's make a few rods. It seems like we need some of those. Okay, maybe I just disabled squeak through without noticing. I'll make some sheets. Just one crafting, and then some wire. Okay. Um, oh, and I can make wire sheets and gears by hand. It's just the ingot processing that I can't do by hand. Okay. Um, so let's fix, so we fixed all the solar pan. well, we're fixing all the solar panels. So now we can fix pylons, similar. Okay, we're gonna need more iron for all this. I have quite a bit of iron ore. Let's let's not do the smelting down here. We'll just do the ore collecting. So I don't actually need a splitter there. So let's bring the smelter back up here. 
you know, to this main base area. Make a little power grid, and this is where I can do stuff. So we'll smelt. I have a lot of iron to spare. And yay, we got more solar panels. So let's see, this is 3 by 5 I'm going to have 30, so let's make that something by 6. What is that, 5 by 6 Okay, there we go. Oh, those don't reach? That's kind of disappointing. So can we connect down here? Guess we'll have to connect like that. Okay, that looks weird, but actually everything's connected. No, it's not. Need to connect again below here. And no, those are all connected. Okay, perfect. All right, so that doubles our power output, which is very good. These have a max input of 100, though. So we actually can't store all the power. Okay, we need more climate samples. That's good. I need to keep crafting. Shouldn't stop crafting. We've got some more ingots. So the main things, so ingots make plates or rods. So it looks like rods are actually a bigger need than plates at the moment. So I'll start with some more of that. And we'll have to wait till daytime for some more power. Thankfully, double power should be enough now. I don't know. Okay, it looks like, yeah, we draw about a megawatt and 15. 30 of these will produce 3 megawatts, 1 megawatt of which can be charged into the batteries. Sweet. Okay, looks like they're starting to generate power again. Ooh, what did we just research? Ah, pipes. Okay, so pipes can be made from stone or iron rods. So stone bricks. Oh, that's so nice. Why don't more mod packs do this? You get pipe either way. Pipe one, pipe one. Like I hate when stone pipes are a separate pipe from copper pipes are a separate pipe from iron pipes. Like you use them all for the same thing. They are different colors, which I guess can be fun if you care about the way they look. But I've always gotten frustrated when it's like, I just want to make pipes. Why can't they all just be pipes? I like that. Okay, we can also get tanks. Stores fluid at up to 85% pressure. Okay, so we got a couple more climate packs here. So we'll keep throwing packs in. Um, I need to keep crafting more packs. I do have enough power now to have at least one of these running, I think. And I want to keep fixing things, but I need more pipes. Okay, I need the rods. There we go. That should help. And I need some more plates. So let's keep the keep the ingots coming here. And let's have some plates this time. So four goes to three. All right, that should allow... Why can't I make pipes? Huh. It's weird that this doesn't show up naturally because I can craft pipes, but maybe it's because there's multiple ways to craft pipes. It doesn't automatically pick one for me. It's also very nice you get three pipes from one iron rod, so we don't need a ton of iron. All right, let's grab our ores. Yeah, let's cancel that for now. Also, is it working having my camera in the bottom right or 
Is that not good? I feel like bottom... I was using bottom left for my YouTube videos because that actually felt like it was in the way of less things. But so far, I feel like bottom right's pretty pretty clear. I could also experiment with going over the minimap. Um, because I feel like we don't use the minimap very often. That's actually kind of a waste of space half the time. So the minimap could be a good place for it. I don't know. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments where you think the best place is. Um, bottom right, minimap, bottom left. Those are the main options. Top left is more in the way of all these mod buttons. And it's more in the way of game information, like Hellmod and when I open stuff like this. So top left is not really an option, but... Okay, so we're still crafting more of these guys. Let's feed more. Faster handcrafting. Getting that researched. And then mining productivity. Ooh, 2%. How fun is that? Okay, so we keep these things running. I'll do a few more plates. And then we'll do some more broads. Okay, so now I can handcraft. Okay, I got a bunch of pipes. Transfers fluid at up to 60% pressure. Pipe one transfers fluids at up to 40% pressure. So what exactly does that mean then? I don't think I totally understood, because they both hold 120. So let's look at Informatron again real quick. So when pipe 1 is completely full, it achieves its maximum pressure of 40%. When pipe 2 is full, it's at 60, 3 is at 80, 4 is at 100. Tanks can handle a little more pressure than pipes. 100% of what? An arbitrary amount that the best pipes can handle. The system is an abstraction. So, then, a vanilla pipe is somewhere between a pipe 1 and pipe 2, in terms of rate. I guess I'm confused then on how they both are holding 120. And it looks like the seawater also fills up. So I guess it just affects flow rate somehow? I'm very curious what exactly that means. But ooh, we got a lot more climate packs, so that's good. Um, okay, I want to keep repairing. Let's repair the hydro plants. Repair six more pylons is going to require more iron rods. There we go. Okay, so pylons are finished repairing. What else can I research? Mining productivity two. Oh wow. I can get three levels just with these geology packs. Or sorry, mineral samples. Um I just love productivity. It's not even really that necessary at this point. But look, 2% more ore for free without extra cost. And this is productivity without a downside. So it does save energy and increase speed as well. If we look at the speed, now it's 0.255 instead of 0.250. So, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a minor boost, but once we get 6%, that's 6% more ore, which means less power and faster mining. Uh, okay, what else do I need to do though? Let's let's actually save that for a second because I don't have anything else to do. So let's start researching some of these things. Air separation, nitrogen and CO2 is what we can separate air into and that lets me repair some filters. Electrolysis lets me break down saline water into H2O and chlorine and sodium hydroxide. We've seen that before in every single mod ever. 
Although I've never seen it actually have three outputs plus sodium hydroxide. It's usually just hydrogen, sodium hydroxide, and uh, uh, what's it called? Chlorine. There's usually no oxygen in saltwater electrolysis, so that's fun. Um, and then repair an electrolyzer. And we still have broken foundry, broken chemical plant, broken battery, broken radars. All right, so we're gonna keep grabbing all these science packs. Now I can just do more processes. Carbon sequestration. Okay, that allows me to repair the batteries and I can get methane out of hydrogen and CO2. Methane and water. So I kind of want to learn some chemistry here. So I'm going to pop open Google real fast and look at what the chemical makeup of methane is. Methane. About 203 million results on Google. Okay, methane is CH4. So carbon and four hydrogen makes methane. So then CO2 and hydrogen Wait, carbon dioxide is CO2. So the C from carbon dioxide and then four hydrogen makes methane. So we should actually see 32 methane, but then we'd have a bunch of extra oxygen. So instead, some of those hydrogen molecules bond with the water, and that's where all the hydrogen goes, because it's H2O. So that, let's see, now I'm confusing myself. So 15 of the hydrogen, I mean, I don't know if the numbers work out exactly right. This is a game after all. But I mean, it, it is all the right things that come out of it. So that's cool. Because CO2 plus hydrogen, if you mix that, would have extra oxygen. So then that oxygen ends up turning into water. All right. Well, that was a fun little chemical uh, tangent. But I need to keep feeding these things. And now I can repair grid batteries with graphite. How do I get graphite? Um, so graphite, whoa, that's a lot. Uh, unlocked by carbon sequestration two. That's probably how we'll get it. Jeez, this is... Uh, recipe book, I don't want it to show me all of this by default. Research ingredients per unit, I don't care about that. Generally with a research, I just care about what it unlocks. And with items, I don't care. Oh, okay, stack size, I don't care about. Let's shrink that down. Yeah, generally, I don't care what it's unlocked by either. I care what it's a product of and an ingredient in. So graphite, here's carbon monoxide and hydrogen is it looks like the first one we get. So yeah, carbon sequestration two, which is right here. So carbon monoxide plus hydrogen gets me graphite. Cool. But that's in a chemical plant. And carbon monoxide, I can break, not break down, combine hydrogen and CO2 to make CO1, or just CO. Okay, fill that up again. Oh, we need to get our, our thing running. You know, it could be good to have something like this. Oops. Uh, where this runs on its own from iron ore. And because I am using iron for other purposes, I will bring one of the miners back now that I have a little bit more power. 
because we're going to need some more iron. Okay, so now I can make graphite. So let's let's try to make some graphite. And how do I do that? I need a chemical plant. Was I able to repair the chemical plants? I wasn't. Uh, does one of these let me repair chemical plants? Okay, this lets me make stone, first of all. Which I get a lot more bricks out of stone than in vanilla. And sandstone, I can also get a ton of bricks. Holy cow, three stands, sandstone makes ten bricks. And then I can also use limestone, which I'm not mining yet. To make even more stone bricks. Although, this one is a better model. Uh, that allows me to repair foundries. Plumbing allows me to build one-way valves and auxiliary valves. Allows flow from a source with over 25% pressure. I'm still very confused about this pressure thing. Because I would have assumed that means the pipes have different capacities, but it doesn't. So... And like this, tank stores fluid at up to 85% pressure. Just for fun, if I connect that to seawater, we'll see how much that fills up. Maybe pressure is just a completely separate system from contents. Um, okay, good. There we go. Two more foundries will be handy. So one of them can just be set to plates, one can be set to rods. And this one, oh yeah, you can see my bot was invisible. It worked. Uh, this one doesn't really, I'm just handcrafting the other things for now. So we'll just distribute our iron ingots equally for lack of a better system. And only two more things to repair, which is grid batteries and chemical plants. Now plumbing needs more climate samples. I could only achieve a slightly faster rate if I have another one of these, but it's worth a shot um, because the air filters, I don't, or do I have more of them? I do have more of them. Sweet. Okay. So we'll pop these in a line and then that will accomplish even more filtering. And the seawater pump, we need 160 per second. And I think this pump only handles 120, so we do need another one. Right here. And I can make more chests, right? Yep, I need iron rods and iron sheets. So there we go. Make a few more chests here. Grab some more research. Yeah, right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, we need to feed some more iron into the old smelter. Feed some more ingots into the foundries. And now we should be able to repair our chemical plants. Looks like I need some more iron sheets for one-way valves. One-way valve is a pipe and an iron sheet. Okay, so I also need more pipes. And I can make stone bricks now, I think. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Now, I'm trying to remember. Gravel can be made from stone. But stone can't be made from gravel. So how do I even get stone? Oh, breaking down the sandstone. That's right. That gets me some extra stone. So how do I not have stone in my inventory? Because didn't I do that recipe? Am I just missing it? Uh, 
Didn't I handcraft this recipe? Yeah, there's stone. Did my game auto make something out of stone? Hmm. Oh, it must have crushed stone into gravel. For what though? What's gravel an ingredient of? Gravel is an ingredient in nothing that I've made. So how did I end up getting the sand originally to repair all of the solar panels? The curious case. I actually have no idea how that happened. Because we repaired all the solar panels with sand. Right? That was the recipe for repairing solar. Where was that? No, it's not even in my inventory? What the heck? Right, sandstone makes sand, but with a stone. Right? So what I'm confused about is this was the recipe we used to make sand to repair the solar panels. So shouldn't I have stone in my inventory? You can also crush stone to gravel, but I never clicked on that. At least I don't think I did. So I'm just confused on why there's no stone in my inventory. Because there's nothing you can make out of stone other than bricks, which I haven't made any bricks. So it's just a little confusing because I feel like I should have stone in my inventory and I don't. And there's nothing else that uses stone. So I'm like, where did that stone go? That theoretically should be in my inventory from making sand to repair the solar panels. And I'm wondering if these recipes disappear once you've finished repairing everything, because I don't see the one to repair solar panels anymore. Um, let's look real quick. Yeah, it just requires sand to repair a solar panel. Interesting. Well, whatever. The curious case of I don't care anymore. All right, so let's, let's use some sandstone. And make some stone bricks here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I just don't remember clicking that. But the game also removed the recipe from my ability, so maybe it magically removed the stone too. Or maybe when you hand... Here's what might have happened. So the game... I don't know if vanilla... Oh, I wonder if this is a bug. Because I auto-handcrafted this recipe. I didn't click on it myself. So if you auto-handcraft a recipe that has two products and it only wants the sand out of it, does it not give you the byproduct of stone? That's actually a good question. Now I need... Now I'm curious about something else that would use sand. Um, like this one. Let's do this one, and then we'll do one more so that it auto handcrafts the sand, and we'll see if stone pops up in my inventory. Because if it doesn't, that's a bug. Or it's just a thing that can't be fixed. No, the stone popped up. Okay, well now I'm officially confused. Because that stone should have been popping up. I like that it says void in four, so that shows me in the fourth tier of technology I can get rid of stone. That's cool. Um, I'm also going to replace the pipes with the ones that I can actually craft. And stone brick. Yep, we're going to paint the world. Since it only requires sandstone and basic stuff. All right, well, that was a big detour. We got to keep researching stuff. Um, I want to be able to make my own furnaces. We're going to keep doing outfalls, chimneys, the ability to make PVC plastic with ethylene and chlorine. Ooh, that's a much earlier plastic than I'm used to. And I'm also curious what I can use bauxite for. Because now I have a great use for sandstone, which is stone bricks. 
Still haven't seen much of a use for bauxite. And then I want to set up the ability to make some... What was it called? Car carbon? Graphite. Carbon monoxide and hydrogen. So we're going to need some chemical plants. Ooh, look at that. Side. Chemical plants now have a side, two side inputs, too. So we can have up to four inputs. Okay, so there's all sorts of stuff I need to do here. And I need an electrolyzer. Ooh, that's also different. Uh, it only has a single input and three outputs now. So we're going to electrolyze saline water which means oh i need to start i need to start doing this um so i need to electrolyze saline water which is made from a hydro plant with seawater but then i also need let's put that over there what do i do with the wastewater Maybe that's what I'm researching right now. That's what outfalls do. I assume there's some way to get rid of it. Wastewater. Oh, let's see. It has a thing in parentheses. That's probably how I get rid of it. Venting. Yeah, that'll probably let me do it. Also, stone bricks will let me make some more furnaces, which is great. Really, I just want to get towards power. I'm not going to build a ton of automation until I can make more power myself. And I'm going to go with right angles on some of these. I feel like that looks a lot nicer. Not that I care all that much. But, um... Let's go up here and over to seawater. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of wastewater, which I could just put in a tank for the time being. But we also finished the venting research, so outfall. Needs a pipe and a one-way valve. Dump excess liquid into the sea up to 100 per second. Oh, I see. Cool. And then a chimney. Vent excess gases to the atmosphere. Cool. So then, let's see. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of bauxite. Let's put that in here. I also have a lot of iron ore, which is good. Oh, I keep taking the iron out on accident. Okay. Put some iron into these guys. And then I need a pipe connection back to the to the water here so let's go this way let's see if i can hook an outfall up to that i need some iron pl oh no i already have some wait what oh weird it doesn't have the little things so i can put one right here perfect and then connect this over here. I want to use up the rest of these pipe twos. And it looks like that needs no electricity. So that's where we'll get rid of our wastewater. Although we might want to hold on to wastewater. Let's see what uses it has. So wastewater. Oh, come on. I thought this was going to be fixed, Rygard. Interesting. Maybe that... Or no, maybe that was the thing he said is a bug of the Factorio thing. Where it won't let you select wastewater. Wastewater... What on earth? Why is that not... I don't want to search within Foundry 1. Huh. That's really weird that once you're in here, 
that doesn't search that just search within a hydro plant but I don't that's actually not the kind of searching I want to do I don't want to have to open a separate window to search for wastewater uh, in any case I guess that's how it works maybe I need to do that no the little side window doesn't open up automatically that's actually kind of annoying because then it's really hard to get to liquids Oh, wait, there's another way to do it. I can click right here. How did I do that? So I can get to seawater there by clicking on the fluid. Why can't I get to wastewater by clicking here on tab? That's weird. It works with saline water. Strange. But I hit tab here and it does nothing. Uh, maybe that's because it's already open here. I wonder if that somehow is... Yeah, that was like keeping it from opening. Okay, well that that's how I can get liquids. Well, that was a long... So it's another way to make climate sample. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't get rid of it just yet. Do we have overflow valves yet? Auxiliary valve. Allows flow from a source with over 25% pressure. So that's an overflow valve, I think. In any case, uh, we gotta get rid of our sodium hydroxide. We have hydrogen, oxygen, and chlorine. So I need some more pipes here. I don't want to be... Let's see, let me handcraft some more pipes. And then... All sorts of chemicals. Um, so we want to make... Carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Carbon monoxide is made from dioxide and hydrogen. And carbon dioxide... Oh. How do I make carbon dioxide in the first place? Carbon monoxide and water... That's all kind of loops, though. How do I actually get... Ah, a distillery. Thanks for that tip. Do I have one of those? I do. Oh, okay, the oil refineries. Aha, so I can... Oh, right, we already saw that recipe. I forgot about that. So air creates nitrogen and CO2. So we need a hook that up to our air supply over here. All right. Kind of flailing around here. There's a lot going on. Okay, so we'll make some more iron stuff. And then we'll connect this up. I just love all the learning in a new mod pack. It's so fun. Grab all this, make some new yellow packs. And now we need, we still need a bunch more pipes. Okay, so then we'll hook this up. It's just hard to know like what to get rid of. There's so many different fluids. So like this is, I'm just gonna connect all my liquids to this that I wanna get rid of. And then I need a couple chimneys. So let's make a few more of those. And we'll probably want outfalls down here as well. 
So like for now, I'm just gonna get rid of nitrogen. Gosh, that's so weird that you can't select that. Um, FNEI is just easier sometimes. Oh, that's the wrong kind of nitrogen. It's this one. Yeah, it looks like nitrogen is not used for a little while. Except there is a second way to make climate samples. <clears throat> that... Definitely, okay, yeah. So just venting, that's fine for now. So that gets me CO2. And then hydrogen, I believe... Can I have more small poles, please? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how do I make those again? When, when can I make those? We need mechanical... We need mechanical engineering first. But it looks like I have reached the point where... Oh wait, no, there's still a few more researches. I can make filters out of graphite, plastic, iron, and CO2. And then I can make motors. And I can do landfill. And then it looks like I could do some more productivity as well. So we're going to do those last few researches. Still need to repair these. Oh yeah, because I'm working on making graphite. Right, right, right. Okay, so graphite will make this an easy connection. And then this one is a little bit trickier. Complete pipe spaghetti for now. Connect, connect. Um, this needs to be connected to... Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Nope, just kidding. That's for liquids. Uh, this guy can just have a flare stack or a chimney. Chimney one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to use pylons for more power. And then the water. I also feel like I should store that for now. And now that's making carbon monoxide. And then carbon monoxide plus hydrogen makes more water. Gosh. Uh, I don't care about pipe spaghetti for the time being. We also need to hook the hydrogen up. Let's go to here. And then hook up the... There we go. So there's graphite. We will uh, need another power pole. And now we're making graphite. Sweet. Yeah, they really don't give you enough small poles. That seems like a little bit of a... A little bit of an oversight to me. Oh, we need some more bauxite here. And some more iron. Iron ingots. Let me grab my ores. And I can finally fix those batteries. I mean, I could be more efficient with my power pull usage, to be fair. I haven't been the most efficient. Okay, so sandstone. We'll keep feeding that in. Iron, we need to feed that in here. Got some more stone bricks. They stack to 500, which is nice. I'm glad they do. And yeah, let's just do some crafting here. So let's make some more... Do I want to make pipes from bricks or pipes from rods? Pipes from rods feels more efficient. Five ore gets me two ingots, which gets me 
two and a half rods, which gets me seven and a half pipes from five ore. Eight stone bricks, which is really just less than three sandstone. Oh, I think that's actually a better way to do it. Although then we get some gravel. Let's do some pipe crafting. And then we can also make medium tanks. We can make some more furnaces. I'll make a few of those. And some more chests. Okay. Get some more research. We're a little low on the mineral samples. Uh, let's see, we've got six sodium hydroxide. We've stalled out because, oh yeah, I'm not getting rid of chlorine. We need another chimney here. There we go. And then that should allow me to repair the rest of my accumulators. Then I can get these placed. Let's see, and then we'll place the rest up here. One, two, three, four. How's our power doing? Uh, not amazing. We're using a lot. But that is the next thing we're doing, so. Oh my gosh. The electrolyzer takes one megawatt. Okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. It takes a lot of electricity to break water down. I don't even know how electrolyzers actually function in the real world, but I assume they just, in some form or fashion, pump electricity into water to demolish it molecularly. But I couldn't really tell you. All right, well, we've got our nice little spaghetti base going. We are a little low on air filtering. Can I make air filters yet? No. We probably need motors for that. Okay, so we have some more bricks. Still only a few hundred, so... I'll have to really automate this before I can just make tons of bricks. And then we have furnace ones, which, what's the difference? Just half crafting speed, half power. Basically the same thing. So let's put that guy here. And then that'll speed up my smelting just a little bit. <clears throat> All right, finally, we're almost there with the grid battery repairs. And then how do I repair the sensor nodes? Is that requiring mechanical? Uh, looking, 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 not seeing it. Sensor node. Oh, geez. Okay, that's going to require a few mechanical packs. And that's when we get lamps. That's a ways into mechanical engineering. Let's go ahead and research mechanical engineering. So I'm going to put those two... Eh, whatever. I'll just hold on to them. I still have enough inventory space. Okay, so we'll get these guys created... Bam. So that means we can store up to two megawatts of energy that we're not using, which is helpful. Like when the electrolyzer's not running, for example. Wait, why is this not... Chlorine gas. Chimney. Vents excess gas to atmosphere. Void in one plus. 
Why is this not venting? Then. Ugh. That's weird. Um. Ingredient in. You can't vent chlorine? I do need it for plastic, that's a good point, so I should probably hold on to it. However, why can't you vent it? It is a gas, right? So I don't totally understand why you can't vent it. But yeah, we'll just put it in a tank for now. All right, graphite stacks to a hundred, so we'll we'll just hold on to a stack of a hundred. That seems okay for now. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I need motors and iron gears. Motors are made okay, so we need a lot of iron and then plastic. So I need ethylene plus this chlorine to make plastic. And I also get hydrogen chloride as an extra output, which is probably a bummer, because I doubt I can use that. How do I make ethylene? Ethylene is here, methane and O2, or just oxygen. Um, methane goes to ethylene. C2H4. And methane is CH4, so it's just adding a carbon atom. Molecule? No, atom. Um, so I need CO2 plus hydrogen to make methane. And then ethylene, or methane and oxygen. Gosh, this is... This is pretty intense pipe spaghetti for how early we are at... Okay, so that will make that. The water... Dear goodness. Oh, the water... I'm really feeling the lack of advanced fluid handling at the moment. Um, O2... And I don't have overflow pipes yet, either, so that's very obnoxious. But O2... I need more pipes. Um, I might actually have an automated pipe maker here. Ugh, there's no power though. Uh, let's see, you make pipes. Jeez, this is crazy. Okay, I'll put that there, so I'll do pipes. Um, oxygen... I want to come around. I really, oh, no, that's not going to work. I need to install squeak through real quick. So I'm going to, I'm going to take a break. I need to take a bathroom break and we'll come back to this here in a minute. I just want to get this all hooked up. Oh, did I disconnect something? Clearly. Um... And then, so oxygen's hooked up. Now methane, we're not making that either. So methane is CO2. Hook that up. Hydrogen. Water. Hooked up here. CO2 we are making right here. Um, we can change this to come up and over. And then hydrogen, we need that, and that's right here. Dear goodness, what a mess. That needs to be closer. Bingo, bingo. Pylon, pylon. Okay, it's not pretty. But this should produce plastic. Yep, and hydrogen. What is that? 
hydrogen uh, chloride, I want to say. Yep, hydrogen chloride and plastic. Okay. Poles need plastic. Well, good thing I have plastic. I mean, I can't produce poles until you research them anyway, which requires mechanical prototypes, which requires motors, which requires plastic. So, <coughs> but that should do it. And I'm completely out of what? Ethylene, I'm out of methane, I'm out of hydrogen. Why am I out of hydrogen? Because oxygen needs to be flare stacked. But the problem is I don't want to get rid of all of it. And I'm pretty sure I don't have overflow valves yet. Allows flow from a source with over 25% pressure. Oh, that is an overflow. Okay. Never mind. We do have overflow. So we'll overflow oxygen into a chimney. So then that should allow... Yeah, that'll keep this at 25% pressure. Which apparently is 75 out of 120. I totally don't get the numbers, but... That should allow this guy to keep making hydrogen. Okay, perfect. I'm going to take a quick little break. I'm going to let the base keep running because there's no reason not to. Uh, so let me put on the little break time... And I'll be back in just a couple minutes.